Good morning everyone. Let us continue the series of Know Your Cancer on Breast Cancer. Last week we discussed the causes and symptoms and investigations done for breast cancer. So once the investigations are done, the doctor comes to a conclusion on the stage of the disease. As discussed in my earlier videos, usually it can be an early stage that is stage 1 and stage 2 or a locally advanced stage that is stage 3 or a very advanced or a metastatic stage that is stage 4. So the treatments will vary depending on the stage of the disease. The most common and the most important treatment for breast cancer still and always will remain surgery. Stage 1 and stage 2 cancers, surgery is usually done upfront. For stage 3 cancers, usually chemotherapy is given in the beginning and once the tumor size is reduced and it is operable, surgery is pursued. Surgery is not an option for stage 4 cancers. The most common and traditional surgery that was done is a mastectomy that is removal of the whole breast along with axillary dissection that is removal of the lymph nodes in the axilla. This is what is known as modified radical mastectomy. Other options include breast conservative surgery that is instead of removing the whole breast a part of the breast is removed that is the lump along with a margin of normal breast tissue is removed that is known as breast conservative surgery. In today's time even if the whole breast is removed, that is a mastectomy is performed, the whole breast can be reconstructed immediately after removal. That is known as whole breast reconstruction. Various tissues from different parts of our body can be used to replace the breast tissue. So these are the options which you should know. Where mastectomy, a breast conservative surgery or a mastectomy with reconstruction can also be chosen. For locally advanced disease, Chemotherapy is usually given upfront, followed by surgery. So after a surgery is done, when we send the specimen for a histopathology, that is a testing of the specimen, to know the final stage. Once we get the final stage, additional treatments are planned. In stage 1, usually surgery is followed by chemotherapy. In stage 2, surgery is followed by chemotherapy and in some situations, radiotherapy is also added. In stage 3, as we previously discussed, chemotherapy is followed by surgery and then some more cycles of chemotherapy and radiation is usually definitely added in this stage. Stage 4 is where surgery is not an option except for palliative conditions where there is severe pain. In that condition, surgery may be required. Otherwise, chemotherapy remains the primary modality of treatment and that is done to prolong the life of the patient and also improve the quality of life and reduce any symptoms associated with cancer. In addition to this, after the tumor is removed, we do what is known as IHC, that is a special test on the tissue. By this, the biology of the disease is known and additional treatments in the form of hormonal therapy and targeted therapies are also used. In the next video, I'll discuss more about the follow-up and a note about the prevention of breast cancer. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.